We are going to write a, a method named last index of, and it accepts an array of integers and an integer value as its parameters. So array of integers, something like this, and then an integer value is going to look something like this, and it returns the last index at which the value occurs in the array. And then we're given an example of this right here, and our method should return negative one if the value is not found. It doesn't say that we can assume that the array passed in has something in it, so we are going to have to work with this as if uh, the array could be completely empty as well. So let's do it public. And we don't need to make it static, but we could, but we don't need to. So we'll just do public, and it's returning a integer. So public int, and this is our header right here. Inside of here, what we're going to want to do is run through the entire array and compare this value to that to find it. So let's put, uh, let's store it inside of this index. So what this index is, is it's basically the index at which this value exists right here. So if this is the case, then we can return this index. Otherwise, we'll return a negative one. Now, what about if we have nothing in here? Well, we'll handle that in a second. So let's do the very baseline first. So for int a is equal to zero, this is just some arbitrary constant. We want to run this as long as it's less than our array length. That kind of makes sense. We have our a plus plus, and then we can go inside of this for loop where we are going to have our conditional check. So that's this if statement. If our value, the one that we're searching for, is equal to our current elements inside of our array, and that'll be determined by where we are in our for loop, then we can um, set our index value equal to the eighth index, right? This a, because we want to return the index value, right? We want to return that value. So we want to return this, we want to be inside of here. We can close that if statement, close this for loop. Now, we want to then just return this, right? So we could say if this value, compare it to this, is the same, then just return index. Well, what if there is nothing in here, right? If there's nothing in here, we can just return negative one. But we, an easy way to do this, at least when I first did it, is I had a counter. So counter equals to zero. And every single time that this goes through, the counter is just going to increment. So counter plus plus. And all I said was, when I'm done with this, if the counter does not equal to zero, because we started at zero, then we are just going to return our current index, right? Otherwise, we will just return negative one. So we could do else return negative one. Now there might be a better way to do this if statement. If so, you can let me know in the comments below the like button. But that is just the first thing I thought of when I was solving for it. I got a little error and then I just went back and did that. So you can press submit and make sure you have all of your braces that end everything. And I've passed eight out of eight tests. And that is how I would do this practice it exercise 7.1 last index of. So I hope you that helped or gave you some ideas.